Hello, good morning, how are you doing? This is Zach, and today I'm going to show you something really cool that you can easily do on any of your websites. And it's uh, just a simple CSS3 animation effect that will make your buttons look a lot cooler when you hover over them. And you can really use on anything on your website, but today I'm going to do it specifically with a button. So, here I am at the demo. See how when I hover over it, instead of it just flashing to the new color, it actually kind of animates to that color, it like fades into that lighter uh, blue. Just in case it's not obvious on this video, let me make it white. That should help a little bit. So there you go. See how it's like kind of animating to the color? This, in my opinion, is a lot you know smoother than just the traditional color change. And with how easy it is to do, there's really no reason not to do it. So let's take a look at the CSS. Here I am in Dreamweaver, where I've got all of my code for this button. You can see that I have quite a bit of uh, CSS around the button itself, just to get it looking the way I want it. I have it displaying as an inline block, so this keeps the edges shrunk to whatever size the content is. Whereas if I had it displaying as a block, it would fit to the width of whatever its container is. Which in this case is the whole screen, so we don't want to do that. Color is just the text color. Font size, I don't need to explain to you. The border radius, I found that seven pixels is a pretty good radius. It's uh, not too like rounded, um, but it's also rounded enough that it's just that subtle little addition to it. Background is that blue color. This box shadow is what I use for this dark blue kind of uh, three-dimensional effect that it has. And then this transition right here is that CSS animation I was talking about. So um, the way CSS transitions work, and I shouldn't use the word animation because there's a CSS animate sort of thing too, and it's totally different. Uh, so the way that CSS transitions work is that you first state what it is that you're wanting to affect. And so for this, I am only affecting the background color with my transition. Then you write the uh, transition time, and then you choose the uh, transition effect, which you can basically choose between the ease in and out, which is just a fade, and linear. So because this isn't cross-browser supported yet, you see that I have transition, and then Mo's transition, WebKit transition, that sort of thing. Same with border radius. This is one of those new CSS properties that's not fully supported, so we add those to make sure that they're supported in Firefox and Internet Explorer, uh, as well as Chrome. But what's so nice about this is that it's not anything that's pivotal for your functionality. So if it doesn't work in someone's browser, they're still going to see the color change, so it's not really going to make a difference. So uh, the last thing I kind of want to teach you about how this whole transition thing works, let's say that uh, on hover, I want my uh, padding to increase. So let's say I do padding of like 40 pixels instead of 20. So see how it like grows basically because it's increasing that padding? Well, right now the button's just jumping. What if I wanted it, excuse me, to animate? Well, being that right here we targeted what it is that we want to actually allow to animate, it stands to reason that if we targeted the padding, that would animate as well. So I could either copy both of these paste them again and say padding this time and this isn't what I'm actually gonna do so I'm not gonna do it for all three I'm just gonna do it for the first one to show you and sorry I believe Chrome has to do it for WebKit so I will do it for all three or at least for two of them there we go so see how it like fades it in now that we targeted padding well it's not like you wanna have to target every single thing on your site so what you can actually do is type all and this means that anything that changes is going to get animated with this uh, ease in and out transition maybe you won't want that maybe you will want to just do things individually but what this means now is that if in addition to the padding changing let's say we change margin to be like 100 pixels and then 0 0 and 100 pixels it kind of f***s it up, or excuse me, kind of messes it up. 
because my mouse keeps unhovering because it's moving, but you see that it's animating it. So basically, once again, the way it works is that you first target the thing that you're going to animate with your transition, you write the transition speed, and then you write the um, effect of that transition. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Let me know if you have any questions at all, and be sure to visit zackswineheart.com to check out some of my other quick tips and tutorials. Thanks.